What's going on YouTube? Adev's Cards back at it again. Uh, today we got the second blaster of 2017 Gypsy Queen Baseball. Hope everyone's having a great weekend. Um, I like this product a lot, as I'm sure you've heard me say before. Just a really great design this year. Uh, definitely be picking up a hobby box of it at some point, but I'm not quite sure when. But keep, uh, keep an eye out for that. So first blaster we broke if you haven't watched it go check it out i did pull an autograph out of that so very nice there i don't i don't know uh if we can go two for two with autographs but you never know you never know so let's see what we can do here on round two of 2017 gypsy queen baseball uh. So starting it off, we have a Kevin Kermier, Brad Ziegler, a rookie of Robert Grish Grishman, Grishman. I'm not sure of that one. Sorry guys, I'm going to butcher these names. Baseball is uh, a rarity for me, but Gypsy Queen is one of my favorites. We got Charlie Blackman, Tommy Joseph, and a Freddie Freeman. So let's see here. I will check for uh, short prints and different colored backs and stuff like that. I will definitely be putting this set together. Um, just because I like to put Gypsy Queen together every year. Figuring it's the only, uh, the only baseball product I really collect. I might as well put the set together, right? We got a Zach Davies. Uh, Starling Marte. An Orlando Arcia rookie. Not bad. Sandy Koufax, I believe that is going to be a short print. I will check at the end. Clayton Kershaw and Randall Kirk Kirchnick. Kirchick. Uh, let's see here. Uh, yep, the Sandy Koufax is a short print, number 320 of 320. Uh, so very cool there. We did get that uh, one guaranteed short print card, so that would be it. Ian Desmond, Anthony Rizzo, DJ Lemieux, Francisco Cervelli, Adam Jones, and a Scott Jeanette. Got a as as Rubal Correa. J.A. Happ. Oh, Andrew Benintendi, rookie. Very nice for the PC. Very nice. I like that. Uh, Zach Cozart. We got a hand-drawn art card um, of... Who is this? Of Zach Greinke. Hand-drawn art card. So that would be our first insert of the box. And we have a Mitch Moreland, also for the Red Sox. My uh, baseball PC is not huge, but I do PC the Red Sox. Uh, mostly David Ortiz and Justin Pedroia are really my only two, you know, main PC guys for the Red Sox. As at this point, anyway, we got a uh, Jake Lamb, uh, Yasmani Grandel, uh, Marcus Simeon, got a Kirby Yates, and there we go, there we go, Dustin Pedroia for the PC, and a Brian Dozier to end that pack so so far we only got one insert no serial number cards or anything like that uh hopefully we can at least pull you know maybe one serial numbered card i think we have a, a fortune teller in this this one so i'll just put that one at the side there we go sam dyson kevin gossman edwin diaz mike trout jose quintana and the fortune teller is of Adrian Beltre. This is um, Gypsy Queen's versions of their minis this year. Uh, they switched up the product layout, and they don't do a mini in every pack this year, but they do have this tall boy fortune teller insert that they kind of put in the place of the minis this year, which I personally like. Um, I was getting a little sick of, of all the minis just because, 
you know, they're not, they're not easy to, you know, really store, they're not easy to protect. Got an Eric Hosmer, Adam Lint, Brett Gardner, AJ Pollock, Kirk, that guy, I'm not even going to try that last name, and an Adrian Beltre. Alright guys, last pack. Let's hope we can pull, you know, maybe a, a green border out of this pack. That would be nice. I'll take a green border. We got a CJ Crone, uh, Lance McCullers, Corey Seager, uh, Michael Flumer, Cole Calhoun, and Ulysses Escobar. Or Alcides Escobar. So no serial numbered cards or anything like that in this box. Um... We did get one short print, and I'm just going to go through real quick, uh, just to make sure we have no no other short prints, no gum ad backs, um, nothing like that. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, it's not looking like it. All right, guys. So no, no ad backs, no short prints besides the Sandy Koufax. Um, so overall, it was a pretty, you know, pretty bland blaster. But that's kind of what you expect out of every blaster, right? So thank you guys for watching, as always. And um, like I said in the beginning of the video, I'm definitely gonna be trying to pick up a hobby box of this sometime in the near future. Um, but as always, guys, thank you for watching, and I'll catch you next video.